Hello everyone, this is Mitch Bailey, Bailey Seating and Air and Air Heroes. Um, today I'm going to talk about AFUE or Annual Fuel Utilization Efficiency and, and what it means to you uh, and why you should consider it when you're purchasing a piece of equipment. So let's get started. Uh, what you see here is a typical furnace and uh, this little thing here is our flu. Um, it's typical furnace flues for uh, the furnace. It could be either metal or PVC, depending on what, the, what it is. So this is our flue, and, and it's also called a chimney. And one of the byproducts of combustion is exhausted through this flue or chimney out through the roof and uh, not into the house because they can be deadly and also contains moisture, and we don't want to dump more moisture into the home. So let's go ahead and get started. So uh, standard efficiency furnace, the annual AFUE for a standard furnace is 80%. And that would be our standard furnaces for that could be made and sold in the US as an 80% furnace. And uh, the next step up in efficiency is the 90 plus furnaces or 90 plus or condensing furnaces. So these are the high efficiency or condensing furnaces. Now the, uh, why do I call them condensing furnaces? Well, they slow down the combustion products uh, uh, the byproducts of combustion so much that the 90% uh, furnaces, high efficiency furnaces, start condensing moisture out of the air. For example, on an 80% furnace, typical flue gas is, is going to be 250 degrees, and that's going out through the roof. Okay, whereas on a 90 plus furnace, the flue gases are going to be less than 125 degrees Fahrenheit, and uh, you can see that. That's more that gets into the home because it's not exhausted out through the flue, it's not wasted, it gets back into the house. Because the uh, flue gases are slowed down so much that moisture starts to condense out of it because the, a huge byproduct of combustion is moisture. In fact, you can get up to a gallon an hour out of a typical uh, condensing furnace is, is not unheard of and depends on the moisture that's actually in the air. When it's, but the byproduct of combustion would be moisture H2O and it has to be managed on a 90 plus furnace that actually have condensate drains on them that manage the water because it drips back down into the into the unit and it has to drain outside. So a 90 plus furnace is going to slow down the combustion products. A, a better way to look at this though is how much do I spend for a 90 plus as opposed to an 80%? Uh, well for every dollar that you spend for uh, heating on an 80% you're going to waste 20 cents. 20 cents gets wasted. It gets goes out through the through the flue and it's just and it's wasted. For every dollar you spend on say a 95% efficient furnace, which is a typical middle of the road uh, condensing furnace, you're only going to waste five cents. So you only get five cents is only going out through the flue as opposed to 20 cents. That gets that benefit gets that heat back into the home, and so you're not wasting that energy out through the roof. Now the other benefit too for most 90 plus furnaces is they have what they call, um, you can get combustion air from other locations. So this 80% furnace that we see right here in the picture, you see these louvers on the front of the furnace. They're, they're there to provide combustion air for the furnace because we need uh, air to provide air for the burners to burn correctly and get good complete combustion. And this, is, this combustion air vents uh, are usually ran either we get it from either the outside which is typical or you may get it from the inside of the structure which we don't recommend but you can if you have a, a big enough space but typically if these are enclosed in a basement or in a closet you need combustion air from outside you don't want to be pulling out of the house because that's that's energy that you've already heated and cooled you want to keep you want to get it from outside because we can use outside air to do that the only problem with that is that outside air is uh, giving infiltration into the home. Typically, they're just ductwork, or it's just opening up to the attic, or into the basement, or into the uh, crawl hole. And that that air is getting into the home too. If if it's in a closet in the house, and you really would be better off if you had a 90 plus furnace that has a another uh, uh, pipe coming off of it, and that's the combustion air, and that goes to the outside along with the flue. So we pull air from outside as opposed to pulling from inside the house and we can seal off those combustion airs in the closet so you're not getting any infiltration. That's the benefit of a 90 plus furnace that you don't get with an 80. Now the other thing we talk about on the furnaces is that uh, we have uh, stages. So most furnaces, the standard furnaces usually are uh, one stage. They only have a, one stage of heat. When they come on 
If it's 100,000 BTU furnaces, it's going to be doing 100,000 BTUs. That's the input. That's how much gas it's, uh, it's consuming on its input. But because it's an 80% furnaces, it's only producing 80,000 BTUs. Yes, that's that where the percentage number comes in. So 80,000. Now the problem with that is when it's single staging, when you get first comes on single stage, when it first comes on, it's going to come on, it's going to go 100%, 100%, 100%, and then when it reaches temperature, it's going to shoot past it slightly, and then it'll kick off, and then the furnace is going to blow for a few minutes to get as much residual heat out of the uh, furnace as it can, and then it'll cool off again, and then it'll come on, and it's 100,000 BTs again, and then as it cycles on and off, you're going to get this big swing in temperature. Whereas if you do a two-stage, two-stage furnace, um, what happens is it comes on at 60%. And when it comes on at the 60%, when it, it, it will reach temperature a little slower, not, not go way past it, and then shuts off. And then you get a more gentle on and off cycle, so it's more comfortable. It makes the home feel more comfortable. We don't, one minute on this 100,000 BTU, one single stage, we're sweating it here, pulling clothes off and then when it gets to this point on and comes back on again we're putting a jacket on because we're cold so you get these wild swings in temperature two stage helps eliminate that so you get you get smaller peaks between the cycles and the temperature more even in the home we also have modulating our modulating furnace will actually help keep it even more even temperature it's it's more of a, a gentle up and down so again the peaks on the cycles are a lot uh, smaller and so the house becomes more more comfortable for you. Some people and uh, some companies think that this actually saves energy by going to a two stage or modulating. That's actually going to save some energy. It doesn't save any energy. You use the same amount of BTUs to heat, heat your house. What it does do, it just makes it more comfortable. So don't don't fall for that thing. Oh yeah, it's, it's going to save you money. No, where you save money is by going to the ninety percent. If you go to the ninety five percent again. You're only wasting five cents as opposed to the 80% standard wasting 20 cents. So yeah, that's the one of the things to look at. Now, if you have any questions about this, please leave comments in my comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for listening.